In this video, we will be looking at another way to bypass multi-factor authentication, which is through a lateral movement technique, such as over pass the hash, pass the hash, um, a pass the ticket attack, or using golden tickets. A scenario could be an attacker has compromised the user's account information, but they cannot access something interactively through a remote desktop login because that is protected through Duo or through another MFA provider, and they need to find a way around that. You can use non-interactive logons through pass the hash or pass the ticket uh, to bypass MFA, and this is commonly used to spread laterally through a network and embedded inside of ransomware and malware so that you can move without running into any barriers set up by multi-factor authentication. So let's take a quick look at this in the lab. You can see if I've compromised the user's account, Tobias, but I cannot log in as him. If I try to connect any servers as him, I'm unable to do so. I get stuck with a duo authentication prompt and I don't have access to his phone to answer that prompt. So I cannot log in as Tobias. However, if I use Mimikatz, I'm gonna be able to get anything I need to on Tobias. I'm gonna use a DC sync to get all of Tobias's information. And let's say I took, I had access to his AES key. That's going to allow me to overpass the hash. I just specify the user I want, the domain, and his AES key. Now I'm running as Michael, but I can access other computers like the computer I was trying to get into. And now I'm running as Tobias and I have access to just about anything I want on that system. I can run any commands, uh, bypassing all the duo barriers that have been put up to put MFA in front of that system. So that's just a simple way that you can use lateral movement techniques to bypass multi-factor authentication. So to protect this, protect against this, you should always look to reduce your standing privileges, only use just-in-time access for your administrative functions, um, apply best practices and security settings where possible, always stay up to date with your patches, and implement some level of tiering to seg segment your tier zero domain controllers from your tier one application servers and your tier two laptops and workstations. To find out more about attack strategies and how to defend against them, go to netrix.com slash attack.